Today's subject on Talk With Us is about the new 2012 federal regulations involving residential boilers for home heating. 2012 represents a major change in the boiler industry. What is this change all about and how will it affect you? The U.S. Department of Energy, DOE, has instituted a new program that is designed to improve the efficiency of home heating equipment and to help further reduce energy consumption. This program includes changes for manufacturers of residential boilers and sets new minimum efficiency standards for these products. Commercial boilers also have new federal requirements but will not be covered in this discussion. In the United States starting on September 1, 2012, the following changes will be required by law. Please note that these changes apply only to the manufacture of residential boilers as of September 1st and do not affect current or future sales of older products, their installation, or any boilers that are currently in use. The new requirements only involve the manufacture of residential products on or after September 1, 2012. For Canadians, these standards became effective April 12th. For residential gas-fired water boilers, with ratings of 300,000 BTUs or less, the minimum annual fuel efficiency rating, or AFU, is required to be at least 82%. Gas-fired steam boilers will now have a minimum efficiency rating of 80%. Many gas boilers currently use a traditional standing pilot ignition system. These are systems that have a constantly burning small flame that is used to ignite the burners when heat is required. As part of the new efficiency requirements, this type of ignition system will no longer be manufactured. So what is a standing pilot? Simply put, a standing pilot uses a tube located near the burners inside the boiler and provides the flow of a small amount of gas which is continuously lit, much like the flame of a candle. When the boiler gets a call for heat, a valve opens and allows a much larger flow of gas through the burner tubes. The flame from the standing pilot is sufficient to ignite the larger flow of gas and thus provide the flame needed to heat the boiler water. Although standing pilot ignitions are simple, effective, and have been used for many years, they do require a small amount of gas to be continuously consumed in order for the boiler to function. In place of standing pilot ignitions, electronic ignition systems provide a spark instead of a continuous flame to ignite the gas flow to heat the boiler. These ignition systems have been used for years as a safe and effective alternative for standing pilot ignition systems. As of September 1st, residential oil-fired boilers will be changing as well. For all oil-fired water boilers rated up to 300,000 BTUs, the minimum efficiency or AFU will now be 84%. And for oil-fired steam boilers, the minimum AFU will be 82%. Also, most gas and oil-fired water boilers will require an additional automatic means for monitoring and adjusting water temperature within the heating distribution system in the home based on the load conditions and the demand for heat. The concept is to have the boiler only produce the minimum amount of energy required to satisfy the heating needs for the home. By not allowing the boiler to heat up more than necessary, the boiler will use less energy, be much more efficient, and still provide comfort for the homeowners. With all of these changes, some homeowners may be wondering if the boiler that's currently installed in their home will be affected by these new energy regulations. The answer to that question is no. The new regulations do not affect any boilers that are currently installed. In fact, residential boilers manufactured prior to September 1, 2012 will still be able to be bought, sold, and installed even after September 1st. The changes mandated in the new regulations only apply to the manufacture of residential boilers as of September 1st, 2012. We hope that this information has been helpful in explaining the changes in the federal requirements for residential boilers. To understand how industry-leading U.S. boiler company is prepared to meet these new energy standards, please look for an upcoming edition of the Talk With Us video series. In that edition of Talk With Us, we will discuss not only how our products are changing to meet these new requirements,
but also the new and exciting capabilities U.S. Boiler Company is adding to many of its products as well. Thanks for taking time to talk with us today. U.S. Boiler Company. Come and experience the new U.S. at usboiler.net.